I'm Peter. I'm Glenn. This is Zena. And this is Frank. I love the convenience of where we live in Yarraville. It's nice and close to the city, but at the same time it feels really kind of relaxed and there's a real community feel to the place. It's very calm, it's very lovely, but it's never boring. It's, it's a great place to live. Moving into an architectural space that actually is really considered about how you live, not just it being aesthetically pleasing, was great. So with that came the gardens and the cars being tucked away underneath, um, the accessibility as I mentioned about it to the rest of the community and the village were perfect and also that we could kind of nudge a few things the way that we wanted them to be that really helped us in deciding that we felt that it was our home even though it was a complete package that was already offered to us. We need to consider the impact we have on the environment and so um, it's nice to know that we can move into a space where we're actually going to be reducing our sort of carbon footprint and being much more sort of responsible around um, and sustainable living. Um, so yeah, it's a huge, huge draw card for this property. Well, the idea of, of sustainable um, and the elements being social, environmental and financial were all considered when we were looking for this project. And the fact that there was sort of purpose-built design by using a good architectural firm kind of embedded that ease of moving into somewhere that you felt not that someone else was doing the work for you but had set a really good benchmark for you to celebrate and that's what I enjoy so you know this is a house that we have purchased not at the beginning of our, our living career it's you know it's at the middle to the later part and so we, we've come across a lot of we've lived we've experienced a lot of purpose built houses we've, we've moved into ones that are okay uh, and the real driving force behind uh, looking at Arable Green was, was seeing those things all considered and being able to move in and feel confident um, that these things weren't just a virtue signalling, that they actually were embedded in the idea of how you want to live, why you want to live. Um, I'm really excited to move into the new home. We keep on uh, driving, because we live in Yarraville, we and it, it, it's sort of on my way home, so we, we do quite a few drive-bys, and I don't know why, but I guess that is uh, an explanation of how excited we are. But um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. We really, you know, we've got a lot of things we want to do there as far as our life. We feel that we're kind of future-proofing what we want to do. It makes us feel very settled. Like, there's a real sense of relaxation and ease about where we're going. And I think, as Pete mentioned, buying property can be fraught with emotions, financial pressures, and that all seems to have been easy and taken care of. So now we can just actually focus on what we want, which is great. Yeah, very, very excited. It's going to be a pretty amazing new chapter in our, in our life. And yeah, it's, it's going to be great. And the, the dogs will love it too. It's just, it's going to be perfect, can't wait.